this is my Breathe natural cold process soap. And I used all natural colorants and essential oils for this. It is already wrapped in the biodegradable shrink wrap that I like to use. The Actually, this is the top, but it's really the bottom when I pour it because I did pour it upside down. That is a plastic impression mat. The silicone, if you can, get those because it's a lot easier to get off. But the ones I have for this was a plastic one. You do have to put it in the freezer, otherwise you're not going to get it off. So I actually poured them upside down like this. And, but I wanted to have that design on the top of it. Now this, I actually poured in four layers. These two layers, you can't really see much of a difference, but I do have four different colors. So with the fragrance for this one, I did peppermint, French lavender, uh, lavender 4042, which is really a good lavender to get because that one will have the most consistent, consistent fragrance and then also a little bit of eucalyptus. The color I used was mainly indigo, and I like to add the indigo to the light solution. I did add some to the batter as well. I have a little bit of speckling in there. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I did use a new indigo powder with this one. And um, kaolin clay, I always add that with my essential oil soaps because it helps anchor in that scent. So essential oils, um, and soaps can be kind of fleeting once you start using it that fragrance does come through so they do smell really really good so for again the color i did the indigo and then i added zinc oxide to start lightening it up uh, um, so i added a little bit more on the way down uh, up here i added a little bit more indigo so kind of did a ratio to try to get the four different layers you can see that one these two can't see as much so let's go ahead and head over to me making the soap